Hi guys, it's Sarah Jean from Bella Coco. Thank you for stopping by again to watch this video. First of all, before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you if you did watch my last video and you liked it and commented. I was really nervous about that, so it was really nice to see it being so well received. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Also, thank you very much to my brother for actually editing that video. So thanks, Adam. Love you. Today what I wanted to do was a what's in my bag. I actually filmed this a couple of weeks ago and then when I took it to my brother so that he could edit it again, we realised that halfway through I'd played about with the lens and it was a bit blurry so I had to do it again. So the first one was very much I hadn't checked my bag and there was a few random objects in there so I will link back to that now so you can see some of those random things. But mini sellotape rolls. Seriously? Why is this in my bag? This is my dad's army belt. No words. I have a fabric sample. Yeah, weird. I don't know why I was carrying those things around in my bag, but I've taken them out now anyway, so I'll do another one of the things that actually stayed in my bag since I um, did the last video. So, first of all, my bag is this one here. It's from um, Dune, and, well, actually, I got it from TK Maxx, which I think in America you call it TJ Maxx, but here it's TK Maxx. So, yeah, I got it from TK Maxx, and um, when I saw it, I instantly fell in love with it because I absolutely love the colour um, and I love the side bits here. They're a bit um, swayed down the side and it's got gold accents to it as well. So I absolutely love it. I've had it for quite a while now. I'm going to put it down because it's heavy. I think I got this for about £35 and it was supposed to be 60 something. So it's quite a good saving. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Inside, there are... Um, Sort of three compartments one here a zip in the middle and another here so i'll start with the open compartments and then first of all we have my filofax i carry this filofax around with me everywhere um i absolutely love it it's the um i forgot then it's the fit uh finsbury in personal size i love the color i love the size of it um it is getting a little bit worn um, on the press now where I, where I just use it so much so perhaps I do need to get another one but I absolutely love the inside of it. I've got some dividers from My Sweet Planner Addiction uh, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, really good service um, and they, they're all customised but if you want a proper look in my file of facts please let me know and I will do a separate video just for that. So that's my file effects, always in my bag. I then have my purse. This is a Ted Baker purse. I love big purses. Um, I don't know why, I always have done. And when I saw this one, it was just the perfect size. If you're familiar with Ted Baker, you'll know that they do um, a lot of these purses in different colours and they have different seasonal ones. I think I'm going to have to check out this new season's colours because this one, unfortunately, is starting to break at the seam here. Um, I tend to cling on to my receipts. I blame my mum for that. She always told me to keep my receipts. I've got cards in there, um, some pictures from when I was younger, um, and then different cards on the front as well. Um, and then I keep my, my money in this section. But I absolutely love this. Um, I think these are about 70 to 75 pounds, but I've had this for ages, so they're, they're well worth the money. I have my glasses case with, um, they, these are guest glasses. Um, I've got two pairs, they're quite similar. Um, they're really cute, they've got leopard print down the sides. Um, but I just literally use these if I'm doing a lot of um, paperwork or on the computer if I've got a headache. Um, I've got one eye short sighted and one eye long sighted, which is a bit weird. But another glasses case, but this time it's got my um, glass glasses in. I usually keep these in my car, um, just some aviator style. Glasses don't really suit me to be fair, so yeah, I just tend to use these when I'm driving. 
Um, I think I'd had them in my bag because I'd gone somewhere. Some Tesco knife vouchers because I'm saving those. Anthony's got a thing about kitchen knives. It's a bit scary, isn't it? But um, we're collecting those because you can get cheaper knives. A random receipt and a card, paper, wrapper, that can go in the bin. Oh, 5p. Oh no, 15p. I have some keys. These are my work keys, so they're all just in its own little wallet. My house keys are actually downstairs. I don't, I don't know why. They're just downstairs. Um. Oh, I've got a little side pocket here, and inside there is some lady things. I don't think I need to explain those or show you those. So in my handbag, I always tend to carry around a couple of uh, perfumes. I don't know why I do this, but I just seem to like use one in the morning or um, put them in my bag. And I don't know, but they seem to accumulate in my bag. So at this very moment in time, I have one, two, three, four perfumes. I have Armani Diamonds, Givenchy Play, DKNY Be Delicious, and Armani She. Four perfumes. Hold on, I've just found another one. <laughs> Got five. This is um, Diesel Love a Dose. So I, ha I have five perfumes in my bag. Oh dear. Some hair grips or bobby pins as you call them in the US. Actually I think some people in the UK call them that as well but I just call them the hair grip. Some stevia. Stevia is um, a natural plant extract and it's a sweetener. So I try to stay away from artificial sweeteners because it can be bad for you. Um, so I got these stevia so I could just have them in my bag and if I have a cup of tea then um, they can just go in there. Stevia. But they're, they're a bit annoying because they turn to powder inside and they're quite, they always break up when you try and get them out and it's kind of gone in my bag a little bit. Oh dear. Um, I have some lipsticks in here, well, the lip gloss, a Clarins Colour Quench Lip Balm and a Boots Number no. 7 lipstick in Water Lily. Um, I'm sorry I'm not holding these close up to, um, to you. Because of what happened last time with my focus issues, I'm scared to actually touch the camera in case it goes all blurry. <laughs> Until I actually learn to focus, I'm just going to hold it up like this. <laughs> I then have a little pill box. I completely realise that this is a bit granny-ish, but I do get headaches quite a lot, so um, I have a little pill box with no paracetamol on it quite clearly I have had them on. <laughs> so I need to top this back up. But how cute. I did say to my mum, I was like, oh, I really want a pill box. And then she bought me one. A receipt. So in the centre zip, I have this cute little bag. Uh, this is ideal if you're out and about shopping and you need an extra bag. Um, it just opens up like this. My mum got me this, thought it was really quite cute. Um, and it does come in handy uh, for if you need it for any reason. I then have a little wallet and what I use this for is vouchers and things. So if I get a voucher, um, for example for, for like Tesco's or something, I'll pop it in there so they're all in one place. I did used to use this religiously and then now I tend to just put them in my purse. So I suppose I could take it out really. But. <laughs> And last but not least, I have a brush. Very rarely use this brush actually, <laughs> but it, I suppose it's in there in case I ever need it. It's just a small Denman brush, um, I've had it for quite a while, um, still in really good condition, so that just sits in the bottom of my bag. 
So there you are, that's what's in my bag. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave a comment. Um, I'd love to know if there's anything else you would like me to do for you. Last time I asked that, some of you did say crochet tutorials or crafting tutorials. I fully intend to do some of those, so just watch this space. In the meantime, if you do like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.